even in this little section, I just want to highlight how many partnerships are actually going on in these two verses. Do you see the first one? Paul and Timothy. These two are working together, right? They're co-workers in the gospel and described in chapter 2 as a son and father relationship. They even labor together in some form in compiling this letter. So that's the first partnership. Do you notice then the next partnership is these two with the servants of Christ Jesus? It's the servants and Christ Jesus partnering together. We partner with Christ as slaves of Christ. We're bought by him. We owe our life to him and enjoy. We serve him. We get, we get to serve Jesus. It's not a have to, it's a get. We get to serve him forever. That's the next partnership. Do you notice the next one? To all, uh, we've really highlighted that word, to all the saints who are in Christ. So the holy ones are working with Christ. There's another partnership here. The church works with Christ. If we try and work without Christ, we're just Ians, right? Christians, we're just Ians without Christ. Some of you will get that tomorrow. Don't worry. Do you see the next group that work together? Overseers and deacons. These two are working together. We need those who will serve by leading and we'll need those who lead by serving. They actually have to work together. Next verse, do you see the next two that he puts together? Grace and peace. Grace is the Greek concept of favor, unmerited favor from a homeowner or a king. Peace is that pre-fall state, Eden before sin entered, that the Jews were on about. And so Paul begins by saying grace and peace actually come from our next partnership, the final one, God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. These two work together. The Godhead partners together. That's not excluding the Spirit, but it's just highlighting these two are working. Look again with me on the screen here. Do you just notice all the alls? In all, always, in every, for you all. <laughs> Do you notice that? There's, he's really highlighting unity through this section. Okay. The partnership of Paul in all my remembrance of you. Paul is partnering with Philippi, this church in Philippi. They've fellowshiped together from the start until now. We see it in the next section as well. Because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now, you're working with me. Paul and Philippi are working together. Not just that, but also God and Philippi, that he who began, who's that he? Who's the he he's referring to who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. So the people who are partnering there is he who began the good work, that's Jesus, and you. They're working together, God and Philippi. God's begun a good work in them through Paul and God's the one who will complete it. God's the one who will bring it to its end. It's right for me to feel this way about you all, just highlighting that again, for you are all partakers of grace with me. Partakers with me of grace. And what sort of grace? Grace of the gospel. And then he gives us three little sections here. Uh, Three little sections, both in my imprisonment, defense and confirmation. You are partakers with me in my imprisonment. With me in my defense, that word apologia, Uh, Apology, but the apologist work of defending the gospel and confirming it in your suffering for my sake. So can you see here, they're working together, they're partnering together, both Paul and Philippi. Paul is, is working with them, but not only that, also with all the affections of Christ for you all, God is my witness. Do you see this? Paul and Christ are working together to love this church. The final pairings of concept, it's quite incredible. So that your love, so that you and so filled. Do you see this connection here? It's running down like this. Your love may abound more and more with knowledge and discernment, knowledge and discernment working together. You may approve what is excellent and so be pure and blameless, that you'd be filled with the fruit of righteousness to the glory and praise of God. Do you see these couplings, these partnerships through the text there? 
They're meant to be partnering together. And so I just want to highlight the final bit there is the word fruit. Success is fruitful gospel partnerships. It could be possible that you would partner with the wrong person. We've seen that. We know what that looks like. And so we need gospel partnerships to ensure we're partnered with the right people towards the right direction. It could also be possible that we have gospel partnerships that bear no fruit. And so what is success? What does it mean to win at the game of life? I'm not talking about the board game. I mean life. It's successful. Success is fruitful gospel partnerships. Partnerships together around the gospel that produce fruit. Fruit. 